Hey guys, what's up? Tyler here with Player Select Gaming, and welcome back to the Tinker's Construct Guide. And in today's video, we're going to be doing some smelting. And that is for the thumbnail, if you haven't noticed already for the first video. This is where I set up a little quick setup and did the thumbnail. And so these are the drying racks I was talking about before. You can just hang stuff on them. And these are just some examples of the items you can make. Um, they're just made out of all one material. You can mix and match, of course. And today we're going to be focusing on smelting in the smeltery, which is this little contraption here. And so before we actually play with the smeltery, let's read about mighty smelting. And so it's going to be talking about introduction, casting, construction, alloys, and recipes. Um, this is just going to tell you, you know, a little bit about the smeltery, the drains, different ores. And you can read that on your own. Mixing two or more metals, you can create other metals. I think one's like some kind of brass alloy you can actually make. Um, then you have the minimum required blocks to make a smeltery. Smeltery is a multi-block structure. Structure What? Structure, and you'll need the following materials to get started. One smeltery container, one seared tank, nine seared bricks, any combination of 10 seared bricks, seared tanks or drains, one faucet, and a casting table. Then it tells you how to actually make it, where to put stuff. Um, you know, larger smelteries can hold more materials, obviously, and so on and so forth. And it gives you a little picture, just in case you need some help, and you're saying, "I have no idea what I'm doing." They give you a picture to help you out. Um, I needed, the, I actually needed this whenever I first started Tinker's Construct and Attack of the B Team. And this is, uh, yeah, aluminum, aluminum brass. Is what I was talking about. Um, you can make some metals whenever you mix. Um, Two different metals together and so you know what i'm saying mixed metals bronze made from copper and tin yeah you get it okay then there's a few liquids that are gained through strange means um talks about that blood liquefied emeralds glue slime ender i'll show you that in a little bit and then forming a cast i like to use gold whenever i make my casts a lot of people use aluminum brass because copper um, and bronze is plentiful um you can really use whatever you want um, all you got to do is put down the casting thing and then select a gold or aluminum brass and to make the cast. Um, I'll show you how to do that. We already went over grout, making the bricks. Um, and now here's all the recipes for all of your pieces you're going to need. Uh, the smeltery controller, and these are all pretty easy recipes. Um, just like this, like a chest almost. Smeltery drain. Seared tank. This is where you're going to put your lava. Sear glass. This is can replace um, just a seared brick. You can just see through it. Same way with seared window. Your faucet. Casting channel. These don't work right right now. At least I don't think they do. Then here's your casting table. Casting basin. And then it talks a little bit about different stuff. Clear glass. Seared stone. Molten stuff. End stone. Glue ball. Blah, blah, blah. Boring stuff. Okay. So... Let us grab some things. Let us not mess with these right now. Let's get a smeltery drain controller. Or, yeah, smeltery drain. Smeltery controller. <coughs> Excuse me. Smelter, yeah, smeltery bricks. Uh, let's get some seared tanks. We're not going to need 64. Um, casting table. Basin. And a faucet. We'll talk about that casting channel a little bit. And let's get some gold and iron. And so, <clears throat> we'll start off with our base. It needs to be a 3x3. Three three. And then you can, I usually just put, make it a, what is this? I just put another layer around. Um, and this is the minimum size it has to be. It can be bigger. And so we'll go like so. And we will, whoa, hello, can you function right? Come on now. And let's actually dig these out and recess them. And you'll have to excuse me if there's some awkward cuts in this video, like they're just cuts randomly. Um, I'm coughing for some reason, I'm not sure why. Um, but I'm coughing if I talk a lot, and I talk a lot in tutorials. Go figure. And so... Let's pop the smeltery drain controller right here. You need to put the seared tank right beside it. You can have, um, as you can see, now it's working. Um, there's no energy source, but you know it's working whenever it lights up. Um, you can put a bunch of seared tanks beside each other. 
So let's set forward seared tanks right there. Fill them with lava. Ba 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 ba. Just fill these all up. Here we go. Here we go. As you can see, our fuel is filling up. And now you can technically put start putting stuff in here. And so I'm gonna wait though. On the side here, well actually I can put it right here. I'm going to put a smeltery drain. I'm going to put I got the wrong type of faucet. That's like a burnt faucet. It does the same thing, but it's not like the one that you actually craft. Seared faucet. I think it's this one. Oops. Busting things up. Yes, that is it. And I'm actually going to take this out. Oops. And I'm going to put in another smeltery drain. Just to show you guys some things. And then put a casting basin on this side. And a casting table on this side. And so now you're ready to go. You can also put the tanks, which I didn't have any. So let's just grab this. Um, the sear glass, you can put that so you can see. Okay. Anything else over here? Nope. We got her all installed. Um, now the, this casting channel, I think how it's supposed to work is that you attach it to here. And then you right click it and it works, but it doesn't work. Not sure why, but you have to use the faucet to right click. And stuff will run down and it will run down into the pipe. It doesn't take the exact amount. You just have to kind of guess. Just press it and it will go down into the casting channel or the casting table. Okay, now we're back at our smeltery that we just set up. And as you can see, it has fuel. And so we can put some iron ores in there. Now you can only... Put them one at a time like you can't stack them like you can't put 64 right there you have to like spread them out like so and so they will smelt and um you'll see that they're filling up now i'm not sure why they fill up with like the block like i've already smelted ingots even though you put ores in i don't know but they fill it up and so you can put all kinds of stuff in there really pretty much any ore um let's put some uh, cobalt takes forever um Copper. Can I spell copper right? Yes. Oh, I could. Didn't want to do that. Right here. And yep, copper works. I don't know why I got just one. I could have probably got a bunch. And there's copper. And now after it's smelted, it'll appear in here as molten gold. And you select it, and then you can right click on one of these. So for example, I want to get a block of gold. Right click. Mm -hmm. Wait around, wait around a little bit. And it'll fill it up to the desired amount. <clears throat> and then you have yourself a gold block. Take it. And you can smelt full blocks as well that are already smelted. Now you'll see whenever you make your selection, it changes whatever's on the bottom. And so whatever's on the bottom is going to be your selection. So you can see things are changing around. Select iron, iron's on the bottom, gold, gold's on the bottom. And so if we want to make a casting plate or just like a blank mold or whatever you want to call this, it has a name, blank cast, that's how you do that. And you'll put the cast in there. Oops, didn't want to cast another one. Okay, throw it back in. You can also put tools in here that are undamaged. So if you have gold swords, you can put gold swords in there and get ingots out of it. But they have to be undamaged. Now, ores are not the only thing that you can put in here. Now, this might get a little bit weird. Okay, it's really going to get weird. But you can also smelt villagers and mobs. It's, yes, I know. It's weird. So smelt a cow. He has an afro. I don't know why. He's, there he goes. There he died. So let's put a bunch of cows in here. Get in there, cows. Smelt down for my cows. Very good. Now you see we have blood. Yes, it's weird. Um, you can do things with blood with Tinker's Construct. Um, I guess it's really no different. Oh, and you can be in here as well, but if you're not in creative mode, it takes your blood. And better get out of that before I die. There we go. It'll take your blood as well in case you don't have any mobs. Give me that back. Put it back in there. And now if you put villagers... Now if you put uh, pigs in there as well... You can get pig iron and Tinker's Construct. Oh, pigs. And that should show up here. 
Um, sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. Um, I know you can make pig iron in different ways. I did it earlier and it did show up. I smelted one pig and it showed up in this one right there. Oh, you can barely see it. Pig iron. I have none. And if you put villagers in, look at all these crazy looking guys. <clears throat> Ooh, you see emeralds start to come out of them. That guy looks like Elvis. Oh, look, they're making baby villagers. Too bad you're like dying. And you can get liquefied emeralds. And I don't know if you know if you can do anything with that. At least not right here. Now you can make emerald blocks if you have enough, but you can't make emerald casts. And so you can spawn mobs. Or yeah, spawn mobs. You can smelt mobs, smelt villagers. I don't know if you can smelt an enderman. He might leave out of there though. Let's let's try it. Yeah. Oh. Hold on. Yeah, they smelt away. But if you drop them in there, though, they get damaged just a little bit. They do drop a little bit of liquefy or resin ender. Sorry, get my words mixed up. But that's pretty much how the smeltery works. You put, you build it, showed you how to build it. Uh, you put your ores in there in the smeltery controller or mobs up through here if you want. And you smelt them down and you can select them and you can make casts. And we'll go through all of that. Yeah, there's a pig iron now it's showing up. Um, you can go and you can make your cast. We'll do that in a future video. But this video is just to show you how to set up the smeltery, how it works, um, what it's used for, the different things you can smelt, the different parts of it, so on and so forth. And so hopefully this video helped you out. If it did, leave it a thumbs up and let me know down in the comments section below. Also subscribe if you're not subscribed already for more Minecraft tutorials and Let's Plays and all kinds of other videos. And make sure you also follow me on all my social links. They are all in the description below. And so if you increase the size, you can put more blocks in it. And then you can put more smelted stuff in here as well. And so you can pretty much make this thing as big as you want, I think. I don't know if there's a limit or not. If there is, you can let me know down in the comment section below. And so that's going to be it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If I forgot anything about the smeltery, you can go ahead and let me know down in the comment section below as well. I'm not perfect. I might forget something, but I think I covered everything. And so that's it. Thank you all for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next video.